All right, so you're going to see me do this a lot, initialize ZBrush. Um, whenever I get done with an example, I initialize ZBrush and then go on to the next example. So here's Lightbox, and what I want to do is click this and add this form. Okay, and what I want to do is launch Shadowbox. Now, this resolution feature is based upon how high a polygon you want this. Let me just kind of go over the 101s of it. If I have this lowered all the way to 24 and hit shadow box, it makes a low poly structure. But it also makes a very low poly mesh as far as like the mask is concerned. The mask is very blurred upon the outside edge. So let me go on the 101 of drawing this in let's take and hold control and alt click in this area and you can see it adds a hole in the mesh same on this side if you ever wondered how to make a hole in the mesh in the ZBrush before you would have been doing this for a very long time trying to get a hole in a mesh but now that's a very very smooth feature So, all the other tools work the same. If you go into that one masking tool that I was playing with earlier in the last video, you'll find out that Control and Command will add to the mask in the background and fill in the gap. If you hold Control and Alt, it will reduce that away. And I can make these very low polygon forms, but the only bad thing is since they're low polygon, it's very hard to uh, control the mask very because the mask is based upon resolution. So control all. So you can't go in here and cut into the form very well. You can cut a little bit into it, but in order to really get the deformation that you need, you can up the polygons. So let's take off shadow box, turn up the resolution, go into shadow box and let's do that again well control and alt I can now cut into that form very sharply and now you can make some very very cool forms there's no doubt about it and that's all ZBrush really is you know is the ability to uh, create a crazy form and then add another form to it and then sculpt on that form and voila you got some kind of biomechanical jig after a while but uh, what happens here is amazing in the fact that you can take a very high polygon form get out of here I'm gonna clone this because I like this part I'm gonna use it later and then I'm going to go back into shadow box, but I'm going to turn down the resolution. What just happened is it lowered the resolution on the part. Now that's that's just so cool. Um, because when I get back out of shadow box and turn on polyframe, it looks a lot lower of polygons correlating to this part which has a few million poly, well, 382,000 compared to 56,000. So I was just able to use the shadow box to reduce the polygon count on a sculpty mesh. Now that's powerful. Uh, polish is the ability to smooth out these areas right here. So if you have no polish, <laughs> it's kind of funny in the fact that it looks like Legos, so so now you have this Lego building kind of going on this looks like an old rapid prototype machine variation so pretty neat there we go so that is shadow box um, later on you know I'll, I'll create something in shadow box but for right now I just want to give you the 101s of it and how to use it and then you know when I practice with it myself you know I can start building some really cool forms and adding them together 
but that's how it works technically. All right, enjoy the video. On to the next.